Kieran Stapleton, from a first glance, would have seemed like any normal teenager. Fond of sports clothes, junk food and alcohol pops. Raised in the Otsal area of Salford, he found work from a young age and seemed to be heading in the right direction in life. But from an early age, Kieran had been prone to sudden rages that would explode in violence. His disruptive behaviour at school led to him being referred to a child psychologist when he was 11, but Kieran didn't go to the appointment. He ended up being expelled from school and was referred to a centre for youngsters with behavioural problems, but he never attended and his education had finished completely by the age of 15. At this time in his life, Kieran, being a keen gardener, won the New Prospects Housing Best Kept Garden competition. While he appeared to have overcome his troubled youth, family and friends reported that he had always been prone to strange mood swings and flashes of temper and was otherwise impossible to read. By the age of 17, he was working for his uncle as a builder, but would fly into rage whenever he messed up at work. He also worked as an office junior for Salford Council and at a call centre before settling down for a £250 a week job at a factory in Trafford Park. He met the mother of his child when he was 16 and the couple's daughter was born in September 2009. For a time, the young family lived together in a house in Weest, renovated for them by Stapleton's father. But Kieran's obsessive tidiness and mood swings put a strain on his relationship, which led to a breakup, which then led to him moving back to his childhood home at Regent Square, where until the shooting, he would see his daughter every week. Soon after the breakup, he was involved in a road rage incident when he chased down a driver and shunted him, which led to him losing his licence. It is thought that this tipped him over the edge and at some point he got hold of a gun. On Boxing Day of 2011, Kieran went out with one thing on his mind, murder. It was then he would come across promising student, Anuj Bidfi, who was out in the early hours, making his way to queue up for the Boxing Day sales. As Anuj walked along Odsall Lane with his friends, he was approached by Kieran, who was with a friend. His friend had no idea that Kieran had a gun. Kieran asked them the time to which one politely told him, it's 1.30am. Kieran, with one hand stuffed in his pockets, produced a 9mm Glock and put it to Bidvey's temple and fired a single shot for no obvious reason. He then ran back across the road to his friend and they ran off as Bidvey's friends tried to help him. Kieran laughed after the murder, then went and got a teardrop tattoo, which is symbolic of taking somebody's life. On his first appearance in court, when the judge asked, are you Kieran Stapleton? He replied, no, psycho, psycho Stapleton. He then went on to deny murder, but pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. He claimed that a personality disorder affected his self-control and that he didn't know what he was doing. But the jury rejected Kieran's claims of innocence after a month-long trial, in which he said he felt nothing about the killing and had not given a single thought to his victim. The trial heard Kieran had selected Mr Bidfey as his victim simply because he had the biggest head. Before the third it was announced, Kieran wearing a grey tracksuit jogged up the steps to the dock from the cells. He looked around the courtroom and grinned before the jury foreman stood up. He stared straight ahead as the verdict was announced. As Kieran left the dock, he looked towards one of his sisters in the public gallery and gave a big smile. The sentencing judge said Kieran had committed a truly wicked act and was highly dangerous and posed a risk of serious harm to other people. He told Kieran, In my judgement, this was no impulsive act on your part. It was a piece of cold-blooded, controlled aggression. He said Kieran had shown the most callous disregard for his victim in laughing and smirking after he shot him and also through his behaviour during the trial when he frequently grinned and laughed in the dock. He said Kieran would serve a minimum term of 30 years and only then will you be released if you are deemed not to be a risk to the public. Walks across the road into a group of innocent students. Walked up to one of them, put a gun to their head and shot them. Was that you? No comment. So you're not saying it wasn't you? No comment. Because if it wasn't you, and you've got an alibi, you weren't there. It was somewhere else. Tell me. Right? And I'll go and get that checked. No comment. Teardrop to two is of significance because it symbolises that the wearer is responsible for killing another person. Is that my addict done? 
No comment. Badge of honour. No comment. Means a few things according to the internet. That you've killed someone without going to jail. Have you? No comment. In fairness, it could also mean you've lost someone close. No you comment. lost a close relative recently. No comment. <clears throat> hey, as a matter of fact, I did kill someone with my hamster. Did you? Last week. Oh, very amusing, that. We're here investigating the cold, bill-blooded killing of a young man. Well, do you not think I'm bored? I've been here for 36 hours going over the same stuff. I've got nothing else to say. I don't care if you are bored. You can sit there smiling. Don't do you any favours. I'm not asking for any favours. 